Mr. President, I'm uh, pleased to join Senator Cole in introducing uh, this bill, the fiscal year 2012 Appropriations Bill for Agriculture, Rural Development, Food and Drug Administration, and related uh, agencies. I'm glad we are considering appropriations bills on the floor in a manner that will allow us to fully debate amendments. Uh, in addition, Mr. President, uh, to funding the Department of Agriculture and the Food and Drug Administration, uh, the bill we bring to the floor today also includes the, F the fiscal year 2012 bills uh, introduced by other committees, as Senator Cole has already specified, by the subcommittees on Commerce, Justice, Science, and Transportation, and Housing and Urban Development. Uh, for now, I'll limit my comments just to uh, our, the um, agricultural provisions and, of course, defer to my colleagues, Senator Hutchison and Senator Collins, on the provisions that relate to the other uh, two bills. Uh, activities funded by the agriculture bill touch the lives of every American every day. These act activities include agricultural research, conservation activities, housing and business loan programs for, for rural communities, domestic and international nutrition programs, and food and drug safety. Funding for each of these deserves thorough and thoughtful consideration. Senator Cole and I have made some difficult decisions in drafting this bill. Aside from disaster recovery efforts, the bill is uh, $138 million below last year and represents a responsible approach to funding agricultural priorities as we tighten our belt and live, to, uh, live more within our means. While most programs are reduced by 5 percent, we prioritize those programs that protect the public health and help maintain the strength of our nation's agricultural economy. Agriculture is one of the few sectors of our economy that enjoys a trade surplus, and the overall state of the farm economy is currently strong. But with the nation's unemployment rate continuing to hover around 9 percent, expanding agriculture exports is even more vital. Uh, as every billion dollars in exports supports an estimated 8,000 American jobs. That's one reason I was pleased that we were able to pass the free trade agreements with Korea, Panama, and Colombia last week. Expanding access to these markets will create an estimated 20,000 agriculture-related jobs uh, alone. However, expanding access to new markets is only one piece of the puzzle that maintains our agriculture economy. Our agricultural products are the best in the world. Our producers are the best in the world at producing products that are desirable in the global marketplace. This is in part, Mr. President, the result of smart investment in America's agriculture research infrastructure. That's why I'm pleased that this bill places significant emphasis on maintaining research programs at our land-grant university system and funding competitive research programs such as the Agriculture and Food Research Initiative. These programs are critical to helping our farmers increase production and will expand our nation's economic growth. Not only does every dollar spent on ag research result in, tw in a $20 return to the U.S. economy, research investments also result in a food supply that's safe, abundant, and affordable. I'm also glad that the Agriculture Bill includes funding to help farmers and communities recover from natural disasters. Missouri has seen unprecedented devastation from both tornadoes and flooding this year. Funding including this bill for the Emergency Watershed Protection Program and the Emergency Conservation Programs necessary to help those areas recover and resume their way of life. It's important that we support our farmers as they clear debris uh, regrade and rehabilitate their land for the next growing season. I want to thank uh, Sen Senator Cole for the bipartisan working relationship we have on the Agriculture Subcommittee. This is my first bill as a ranking member of the subcommittee, and the chairman's giving me uh, every opportunity to provide input into the bill. He's done a good job of balancing the priorities of the Agriculture Subcommittee this year, uh, and uh, I hope my colleagues join me uh, in supporting the bill that the chairman and I present together today.